Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're going to talk about one of the newer, just little displays that we've put up on the battleship. We're here in the officer's wardroom on the main deck, pretty far forward of the battleship. And uh, this is where the officers spend their free time and eat their meals. For the officers, mealtime is far more formal for enlisted sailors. An enlisted sailor going through the chow line picks up a regular tray, they go through, uh, and it's like a buffet serving line, except there, there's a staff, uh, a crew member who is serving the food to you, just putting it on the tray as you go through. Uh, you go to, on well, Iowa class battleships, it's basically McDonald's style seating, and you eat your meal, you have a set time limit. For the officers though, by an act of Congress, an officer is also a gentleman. So that sort of uh, feeding does not work for gentlemen. Uh, and so it is much more common for the officers to eat on fine china or even silver. So uh, we have an officer's place setting right here that shows what uh, many of the particularly more formal meals would have been served on. So Battleship New Jersey has a ship's silver set which is in the captain's cabin and is uh, about 120 pieces for a large meal, a, a uh, group of people that can fit around the captain's table basically, but for the entire wardroom, which may be more than 100 officers in wartime, um, they had a separate wardroom silver set, which would have been similar uh, to what is here with uh, silverware made out of silver. Uh, they would have been weighted on by stewards, which at the early part of the ship's career were minorities not allowed to serve in any other role uh, except stewards and mess cooks. Uh, they would have had to wear formal uniforms. Uh, the officers would come in and stand behind their chairs waiting for the executive officer who presides over the wardroom to come in and begin the formal proceedings. And then when he sits, everybody else can sit. They would be arranged by rank with the executive officer out on the starboard side at the head of the table, and then more junior officers coming down this way. Uh, and then oftentimes one of the tables would be reserved as more of a uh, dirty shirt mess. So if you are an officer on duty uh, or about to go out on duty, you might not be wearing the formal uniform, you might be wearing the uniform of the day. So you can't sit in your formal arranged spot up there. You, got, you come in and sit at the dirty shirt table and uh, eat and then you go back out on watch. So um, this isn't always how things happen on the ship, but it is often more formal than what the regular enlisted crew get. Interestingly, the captain is not a member of the wardroom. He does not eat his food in here unless invited by the executive officer who presides in this room. Uh, the captain would typically take his meals alone uh, or if he wanted company, he might invite uh, different officers or maybe even enlisted crew members uh, to dine with him. I've heard stories about Captain Snyder in 1968-1969 inviting uh, enlisted sailors whose birthday it was uh, to come up and eat with him. Uh, I've heard stories of some of the officers from the 80s inviting uh, sailors who had won awards and other things to come up and dine with them and also stories of, of the captain dining with some of the more junior officers if he had free time. The captain's of course running the ship, so oftentimes he's not having a formal meal. He's having the, uh, his personal steward uh, just bring him whatever while he's on the bridge. The movie Greyhound portrays this pretty well, the relationship between an officer's steward and a commanding officer on board a destroyer, a much smaller ship with uh, considerably less room for pomp and circumstance. Uh, but uh, one, one of the best things about that movie is the portrayal of that relationship. Uh, I went down the, uh, that morning to breakfast in the wardroom, and I was met with uh, stares of different persons. But at the junior table and aboard this ship, uh, the officers were seated in, in terms of their rank. Mm -hmm. So the junior officers, ensigns, lieutenant JGs, lieutenants were all seated at a similar table. And those officers where I was seated 
uh, we were all roughly the same age and we'd just come out of college. Some of them I had made midshipman cruises with. So there was nothing unusual there. We were friends. I was accepted as a friend. Uh, however, there were some some uh, lack of acceptance at some of the uh, more senior tables. Um, now, were you the first African-American officer to serve aboard the battleship New Jersey? That's my understanding, yes. Mm -hmm. So would you rather do formal dining with the officers or the uh, buffet style with the enlisted? I got to say, I like me a buffet. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your continued support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to help the museum out. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, that way more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.